Hi everyone, welcome to North Star Knife Reviews. Today we are taking a look at a Boker Stockman knife. This is the 7474YB. Now this is uh, a knife from Zolingen. You can see you have the actual Zolingen shield on here. This is in yellow smooth bone and this is just a lovely lovely little knife now this knife uh, has been discontinued by Boker um, they still make the 7474 but the yellow bone or at least the yellow smooth bone has been discontinued whether they'll bring it back or not I cannot tell you uh, this knife I, I haven't been able to date it exactly but I believe it is uh, early 2000s up to maybe about 2010 it is very, very smooth transitions. Pretty good fit and finish. The main objection I have, and this is nitpicking, but it's something that just bothers me, the termination on these back springs is not, in my mind, what it should be. Um, they should be straight across. They should fill the entire channel. Um, you know, for, for a knife that is as lovely as this is and is as well made as this is, that oversight bugs me. But, again, it's, it's not something that's going to affect the use of the knife much at all. Uh, again, yellow smooth bone on the handles, the Zolingen Shield, nickel silver bolsters. Now this has been in storage for a while, so you can see there is uh, some tarnishing on the brass liners. These are carbon steel blades and it is the typical Stockman pattern. Now here you can see uh, the tank stamp H. Boker and Company Zollingen. You have the main clip blade comes in right around three inches. Then you have the sheep's foot blade that is just a bit over two inches. And finally, of course, the spay blade, which comes in right at about two inches. Uh, no tank stamps other than the tank stamp on the main clip blade. You will also notice that there is no blade etch on this uh, main blade, which is fine with me. I'm generally not a big fan of blade etches. Uh, I actually prefer my blades not to have them. You know, if they're there, it's not the end of the world, but I like this without the blade edge, quite honestly. Uh, nice stockman, full-size stockman, nice in hand. The close length is gonna be about four inches, and as you can see, it's about seven inches when the main blade uh, is open. Again, carbon steel blades, these will develop a patina over time. You can see it's just a little bit starting here. I really haven't carried to this a whole lot yet. Um, these run, the original manufacturer's retail price on these is about uh, $90. I've seen them running anywhere from 60 to 80. I got this one on a closeout for $29, which I think is just an excellent price for an actual German Boker. Um, it was a sporting goods company out of Montana, and they were closing out their Boker selection, at least the German-made Bokers. I think they still are carrying the uh, Boker Plus, but I got the last two of these that they had for $29 each, and I'm quite happy with that. Uh, because they are really, really well-made knives. Bargains are out there. You just have to look for them. Hope you found this interesting. Hope you have a good day. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I will catch you next time.